Hello, hello, welcome to Shady and White. I'm Marilyn and today we have a thread up box. I have no idea what this is, but I thought, hey, I have no idea what this is, let's check it out. It says, which I find unusual, um, generally it says from thread up, but this one says from warehouse manager thread up, um, Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. I'm not sure. If you haven't been here before, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and YouTube. We have the receipt right here. So let me pull that label off and see when this was ordered. Okay, this was $48. It is a 15 piece and it was ordered on August 17th. Okay, well, this, that was not that long ago. I think I remember somebody telling me they were up and I jumped at it and then I realized it was a 17 piece. So there's August 17th. Like I said before, the last time I did this, I don't think these have been horrible. So let's check them out. That's what it looks like. And the sticker says this sticker is recyclable. Okay. There's our jewelry. There it is, and there it is. The way I do this is I pull it out one at a time. Um, give you a price if it's something that looks like you would like it you simply give us an e send us an email to one shadyy at gmail.com we will send you a PayPal invoice at the end of the week and um, we ship it out to you if you are the first one who requests it we price things um, less than what we price them on our online stores as a thank you to you for being a subscriber to our channel let's see what we have and just want to say thank you so much for joining us we appreciate it oh i forgot to tell you about my rings um this one is a beauty this is just a sterling silver um diamondique um emerald cut i believe it's an emerald cut um but it's just diamondique it's cubic zirconia and um, a really cool um, band. Uh, so this one, um, I haven't, I just found the other day in a bag and I thought, oh, that fits me. If it fits me and it is a square or a similar emerald type cut, it always goes on my finger. <laughs> but let me see what the size this is. This is a seven and a half. So my finger must be, oh, I know why. Um, if it's open in the back, um, it will fit you better because I'm generally about a seven and three fourths to an eight on this finger. Um, but that is a, a beauty. And this one is the same one that I had on last night. It's a midi ring. It is 14 karat white gold with um, diamonds. So let's see what we have in the bag. Starting off with some Kendra Scott. So give me your opinion. What do you think of Kendra Scott? Um, is it still fashionable, still hopping, or is it overdone? What do you think? Um, these are new on the card, which is fabulous, especially with um, the holidays coming up, it's a good idea to do your shopping early. Um, we have no price on these, um, but they are um, dangling hearts in a rose gold. So these are pretty, and it just says uh, kinderscott.com. Um, and they're weighty. They have the backs on them. As I said, it's still on the card. So that's a great gift. Um, and I like have tons of jewelry but I love to put um new with tag items in a basket 
And if I have somebody come over and I'm like, oh, we, you know, have um, visitors or something and I want to give them a gift or somebody says, oh, it's my birthday and I didn't remember, it's nice to have that um, available to just reach in and pull something out as a sweet little thank you gift for visiting or stopping by or something like that. Nothing extravagant, <laughs> you know, but it's nice to have in case you do need a gift somewhere to just grab out of. And look, these are a nice start to that. So on these, I'm going to say, let's do, um, let's do 15. Oh yeah, I already had this one out. What do we have here? Anthropology, um, Bobbles. Bits, bobs, uh, new with tag. Uh, look at this a long bag. I like it. Let's pull it out. Well, isn't that nice? Oh, that's even nicer on this side. <laughs> there it is up close. It's got... Um, I believe they're faux. Um, let me see if there's any missing. So there is like faux pearls and then rhinestones. Um, and it's in layers. I am, there is a lot of these. So I'm trying to go through them quickly. But that is pretty. And then it has these, um, it has a chain. Then it has like a beaded thread. And then it has like a leather um, or canvas maybe. It is on a lobster clasp with an extension. The, it's a long one. It is 34 inches with a two and a half inch extension. And for this one, I'm gonna say, let's do, let's just do $9 on this. It's new with tags, really pretty piece. Um, very unique and unusual. Uh, I think we have some earrings here. Let's put the light down. Again, it's raining here in Florida. Here we have, I think it says bobble bar. Uh, let me... Yes, bubble bar. Aren't these a pretty card? These are beautiful um, fall colors. Um, the tassels need to be trimmed up. Let's see if it's missing any of the rhinestones. No, not on that one. And not on that one. Um, those are pretty. But like I said, the tassels need to be um, trimmed because they are out of whack. But there they go. That's pretty. It is four inches, and I'm gonna give you the top of it. It is an inch. Um, so those are pretty cool. So on these, because it needs to be trimmed up, I'm gonna say, let's just do $5. Those a beautiful, I'm not sure if the color is coming out um, okay, but it's like a wine color, very nice and folly. Um, well, that helps get it out of my eye. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do $5 on those. Another set of earrings. Or pair. Do you say pair or set? <laughs> I guess it's a pair, because then if it had a necklace, it would be a set. All right, these have, I thought I saw some writing on it. Let me look real quick. These say 14K gold filled. Well, these are nice. Aren't those very nice? Um. Very good condition. The length from the top of the wire is 
about um, two and three quarters of an inch by uh, about three quarters of an inch. And if you wanna count, not counting the wire, it is one and a little over a half, one and a half. And on these gold filled, I'm gonna say, let's do, um, let's do $12. Those are really nice. We have some studs here. Let's take a look at these. These are pretty. Let's see if there's any missing rhinestones. I'm gonna have to look with the blue. All right, no missing rhinestones. Now let me see if I see a name. These are nice and weighted, so they feel like they're well done. However, I do not see um, any um, name on them. Let's see if they're magnetic. They are. So on these, which are very, very nice, um, that's what they look like. Um, They are open back. So on these, I'm just gonna say, let's do, um, they're pr pretty. So I'm gonna say $6 on those. We have another set of earrings I can tell right here. I think we hit the jackpot on earrings. Uh, these are pretty. Um, these are blingy. Aren't those pretty with teardrops? Um, I didn't give you a measurement on those last ones. I'll do that. I do not see a name on this. Let's see. No, but on these, the size is an inch and an eighth by um, a half an inch. There you go. Nice large teardrop on these. Very, very sweet. So on these, I'm going to say let's do $6. I like those. And on these, I did not give you a measurement on them. Let me see what they are. They are a half inch, so that's nice. Next, we have uh, a bracelet. Looks like Alex and Ani style. Let's see if that's what it is. It is Alex and Ani. Okay, I read somewhere um, that if it didn't have the normal Alex and Ani um, charms hanging from it that it was most likely sterling silver and this one says Alex and Ani and I tested it and there's your blue so it is um, this one is sterling silver and it is a um, rope with an anchor and on this one I'm going to do eighteen dollars um, for the Alex and Ani. And of course it's adjustable as we know. So very nice. Here we have another bracelet. And this is a Kate Spade. And it says Kate Spade, New York, and it is, ah, you uh, push down and it opens up into a claw. And it is enamel, it has the spade, I guess the spade goes like that. Um, let's see how the enamel looks. It's actually in a really, really good condition. 
um, it is a size I'm gonna say seven um, because it won't close on my um, wrist but this is a really really good condition so on the Kate Spade enamel bracelet I'm gonna say let's do um, $15 Here we have a tiger's eye, really pretty tiger's eye bracelet. It has, what does that say? I am not sure. <laughs> but it was new with tags and it looks like it got a little wet or something. But these look great and the stretch on these are great. Beautiful colors on here. It looks like you have some of the dyed red and some of the dyed green um, and then the natural. And these are pretty. Without a stretch on it at all, it sits at a six and a half inch. So on these, I'm gonna say 15. Those are pretty. Now here we have a necklace. The lobster cast. And it says J. Crew Gold Tone. I don't see anything missing. Let's see. Nothing missing there. Yeah. This is actually very pretty. If you like green, this is very, very pretty. I happen to be one of those people who do love green. Especially like green and then the lime green or yellow with it. Um, this is, as I said, a lobster clasp. It is 19 inches with a two inch extension. And on this one, I'm going to do, let's do, it looks brand new. It doesn't um, look scratched up or anything. So on the J. Crew, I'm going to do $15 on it. That is nice. I should pour these out so I don't have to keep opening the bag. I think we have another necklace here. Um, this one, I don't see a name. And this is just looks like a standard. I don't know if we can get it straightened. There. Just a standard little statement necklace um, with black beads and white beads. And then these um, center ones kind of are a um, light citrine color gold chain with a lobster clasp. It is 16 inches with a three and a quarter inch extension. And um, on this one, I'm just gonna say, let's do, um, let's do $6 on that one. Here we have a couple rings. I don't see a name on that one. Nor this one. So these are fashion. Um, and this is faux turquoise. And this is, is that missing a stone? Let's see. No. Well, these don't go together. Okay. So this one is just gold tone with um, rhinestones around it. So like in an eternity ring, it is a size eight. And on this one, um, 
missing right there? Let me see. Yes, it is missing. Yes, it is missing one rhinestone. So on this one, I'm just gonna say, let's do $4. And then on this one, um, it is not missing any stones. And this one is a size eight also. So on this one, let's do $8. Another necklace, and this one is na named. And this says Charter Club. Okay, and a long string of faux pearls. And um, these are nice and weighted. So on the Charter Club, I'm just gonna say, let's do $8. Let's give you a size on this. It is 40 inches with a two inch extension. Beautiful. So $8. On this one, this is a plunder. I'm seeing a lot more plunder um, pieces. Um, it's a United States based company. Um, well, that's pretty. It's a new condition. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chains. So what? Oh, look at that. So it's one, two, four, five, six, seven chains. Okay. So you have the tassels. Let's go this way. You have these uh, gold tubular beads. You have another gold tubular beads with, um, and both of these have um, glass seed beads on the end. One is a blue and one is a purpley blue. The next chain is very pretty with these um, tube and uh, cable chain, and then with the silver um, faceted beads. Then you have three chains of be seed beads. Um, one has um, like a clearish gold bead in between. Um, and then you have this seed bead with the gold beads with the tassels. So you have, as I said, seven strands. However, they are on a lobster clasp and two of the strands come off. So you can make it a five strand necklace and the five strands, two strands that come off are these two with the uh, bluer beads and the faceted silver beads. So you can make it a completely different necklace. So it's um, three way necklace. So it can be seven, strands, five strands, or two strands. So it is on the shortest, 20 inches with a two and three fourths inch extension. So that is very nice. I'm gonna say $10 for the plunder necklace. And I believe the last piece we have is this one. Or should I say the last piece from this bag? I'm gonna do another um, little auction bag right after this, so stay tuned. All right, this one, I don't see a name. It is a lobster clasp. It is like a, a bib style, um, which is pretty. It goes. Um, so um, no missing um, acrylic pieces. The chain is... 16 inches with an inch and a half extension with a three inch fall. So on this one, I'm gonna say, let's do $8, very pretty. And then we have an auction bag. So let's see what we have in the auction bag.
I'm not even going to spread these out. I'm just going to push them over the side and grab from them. And this is costume sum signed. So on these, let's see what we have. Um, oh, well, that's a nice first picking. <laughs> um, here we have, let's see if we have anything missing. We have this beautiful blue uh, Aurora Borealis blue rhinestones. Aren't those gorgeous? Um, they are clip-on and they are Weiss. Aren't those pretty? Those are pretty. If I have to answer for myself. <laughs> they are an inch, a little over an inch actually, but those are stunners. There's the back, it is um, riveted, and they are clip-ons, and they are signed Weiss on both. And I'm gonna say on the Weiss um, blue Aurora Borealis earrings, I'm gonna say, let's do, there's the sides, I'm gonna say let's do $12. I'm gonna put these over here. Now this one, let's see, this one's also signed. This is a Sarah Coventry. It is, let's check the clasp. Nice tight clasp. Oh, that's pretty. Um, we have a leaf brooch and we have um, a pearls um, and they're faux pearls. And this one, if you can see, has a little um, of loss on the pearl or scratches, I should say. Um, no missing pearls. And then it has the, um, I believe these are supposed to be glass with Sarah Coventry. Um, they could be acrylic, um, but they're just um, faux um, stones. And let's give you a size on this. It is two and a half inches by an in, uh, two and a quarter inch. So on this, I'm gonna do $7 for the Sarah Coventry brooch. This one, oh, isn't that pretty? Um, this is unsigned. Oh, no, it is signed. And it is signed PJ. And this is a um, beautiful cameo. It's in two pieces. They're both glass. And the back one looks like a faux hematite. Um, but it's definitely a type of glass, kind of a matte glass. And the back is a shiny glass. Um, and it is framed um, with this circular frame. Very pretty. And this snake chain, a long snake chain, I might add. Um, BJ's does a, a beautiful jewelry. And um, it is, that's nice. 30 inches with the Cameo being two and three fourths of an inch by one and three fourths of an inch. So on this one, I'm going to say, let's do $15. Here, let's see if we have a signature. It is a safety class. I don't see a signature, but this is so completely cosmic. Um, jewelry, um, definitely from the 50s, beautiful. It looks like a starburst. It is three and a half inches by three inches. That is gorgeous. Look at that in a silver tone. Um, and that center um, rhinestone is lifted. So on this one, I'm gonna say, let's do $18. Now, this one has some missing pearls, I mean, some missing rhinestones. It is a safety um, clasp. I don't see a name, um, but it is missing quite a few um, rhinestones, um, all of the here and here and here. So it looks like it has more missing than it has included. So it's a flower, but this would be a great um, piece to redo. So it's two and a quarter by one and a half. 
So on this one, I'm going to say um, just two dollars. Here, oh, isn't that pretty? And this one's signed. Hmm, and I can't make it out. Yeah, I can't make it out. That's what it looks like there. It is a safety clasp. It is a butterfly on an enameled um, flower. That is very pretty. It is a size one and three fourths by one and a half. And I'm gonna say, let's do $8 on the enamel butterfly flower brooch. Here we have a signature. I'm not sure either. Um, right there is a signature. Ah, that is gorgeous. That is a um, Scottish thistle. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, this is pretty. So here's the brooch. And here's the pin on the back. So it can either go like so. Like so. Or like so. They're all glass. And on this one, I'm going to say let's do... Um, $12. That is a beautiful brooch. Here we have a really nice necklace. Let's see if this one's signed. It is signed Monet. Let's see if we have any missing rhinestones. Yeah, just one, and it's right there. That is a shame because that is a nice piece. So if somebody is good with um, changing, um, replacing rhinestones, this would be a really, really good piece. Monet is still selling well. This is 18 inches. Um, it is a fold over clasp. There's the back. But since it's missing that one rhinestone, I'm just going to say $5. Let's see if we have any matches. We have a pen here um, with Aurora Borealis rhinestones. It has a pen back and it is not signed. It um, is pretty. So on this one, oh, the back is, and the back says Jandy, J-A-N-D-Y. And on this one, I'm just going to say, let's do $2. Here we have a pair of earrings. And these are also Weiss. Oh, aren't those pretty? These are also riveted. See the backs? And oh, there is a missing rhinestone. Um, what a shame. Um, that one missing rhinestone. Aurora Borealis centers and then the outer ring is not Aurora Borealis. It is signed Weiss um, and they are small, nice little studs. They are only a half inch. Um, so since it's missing a rhinestone, I'm just going to say let's do, because um, if you could replace that, that would be great. But I'm only going to say um, $3 on those. I was thinking for sure this was going to be faux, but it is not. It is a jasper. Isn't that a pretty stone? Um, I don't believe this is sterling. We didn't say anything sterling. It said signed. Hello. <laughs> um, but this is, um, it does measure um, on the gemstone. Um, and on this one, it is not sterling, it's just silver toned. A nice little flower frame on this. It is with the bell, an inch and uh, 
three fourths by an inch and um, three eighths, and it is three eighths of an inch wide. So I'm just gonna do $10 on this, and the properties um, bring well-being, harmonious, calm, and power. Nice. And then we have these, which are signed Weiss. Oh, please let them all be here. <laughs> I hate to see like a, a name brand, a good main brand um, with missing rhinestones, but these are all here. Yay. I love this blue. Um, and it only is signed on the one with the upper tag. And um, these are in really good condition. Um, look at those. Aren't those beautiful? That blue is gorgeous. They are an inch and three eighths by an inch and a quarter. And on these, I'm going to do um, $12. Those are beautiful. And I keep saying this, and um, clip-ons are coming back so strongly. Um, so many new brands are coming out with clip-ons. So um, it's beautiful whenever you hear that and it's very popular and especially when you can get these quality um, like Weiss and Coro, um, you know, so many other brands, but those are just really good brands. And this one is, I think it's Laurel. Let's see. It is Laurel. I don't see those too often. This is another really good brand. They are clip-ons also. Um, beautiful um, rhinestones. Look at those. It is one and three-fourths of an inch by half inch. And on these, I'm going to do $12 also. Then we have these. Let's see if these are signed. I do not see a signature on these. And these like and these are clip-ons that screw back so you can decide the tension. And there you go. Aren't those beautiful? Those are really pretty. Um, however, these don't have the quality of a Weiss. These are very, very light to the touch. Um, whereas um the Weiss is like, I wouldn't say weighty um, is the right term. I would say that um, they're weighted perfectly, whereas these are super, super light. So these, I'm just gonna say $2, um, but just to see the comparison of um, the workmanship. Not that these are bad, these are beautiful, but these aren't going to hold up like these are because they are that nicely weight. And the last one we have is this ring. Um, let's see if we are signed. It has some missing um, tone on the back. It does not have any missing um, I think these are foam moon pearls. I mean moonstones. Yes. Um, and I think is this. Yes, this is an adjustable ring. Okay. Um, but it is one of those that goes inside. Let me see which side moved again. <laughs> this side is secured, okay? And this side has some movement. So you pull it out to make it bigger. Um, however, on a ring this old, um, that's that type, generally they like to go back to the size that it's set for. But this is gorgeous. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, this is just my, this is my lane. I love, um, bold costume um how earlier in the week or was it yesterday 
<laughs> it was yesterday. We had that very feminine, um, light and dainty um, pieces. Well, this is, in my opinion, very feminine in a different way. Um, very bold and very 50s and 60s. I just love that style. Um, this could be 60s, I believe. Um, adjustable rings were very um, in vogue in the 50s and 60s. Uh, but that is a gorgeous ring. Let's give you a size. Right now it is set at a, I'm going to say a seven and a quarter. I don't know how I got it on my finger, but as you can see, it will go larger. So I think when I put it on, it just stretched to an eight. Um, but that is gorgeous. Um, so on the um, ring, I'm going to say, let's, the flower ring, I'm going to say, love this, I'm going to say 20 two dollars even though it is um, costume it's really nice quality costume it does have a little bit of loss here but here is just stunning so beautiful so there you go it's uh, the new versus the old or the fashion versus the costume so hopefully you enjoyed this. Tell me in the comments what you thought. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like. I'd love to hear. Thank you definitely for sticking around with us. We really, really appreciate you all. Thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us. And we will see you on the next one. If you saw anything that interested you, definitely be sure to send us an email at one shadyy at gmail.com. Bye.